Okay, when you do an experiment, it's really good to always write down the things that you do. The first thing you do when you have an experiment is you need to have a purpose for your experiment. In this purpose, we're checking for the acid level of, of different household items. In this case now, you need a hypothesis. Is this acid-based? Is this not acid-based? And the next thing you need to do is you need to get your materials together, and we're going to go over those. And the next thing you need to do is collect the data. You need to write down what you're going to say, and then you need to analyze the information, and then you need to report the results. And your results are going to end up from 0 to 14. Where do these household items land? And that's what we're going to do today. So, let's get started. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to test hydrochloric acid, that's HCI on the periodic table of elements. And this is something that you actually have in your stomach. We're going to check for lemon juice, distilled water, grapefruit juice, soda water, distilled vinegar, milk of magnesia, tomato juice, some ammonia, and we're going to also check for just common everyday vegetable oil. And what we're going to do is we're going to have to go ahead and we're going to use cups. We're going to take a little bit of each of these and put them in a cup, but we're first going to go ahead and we're going to need to label our cups. We're going to have our labels, okay? We're going to go ahead and we're going to let you know how we test these. Well, what type of chemical do we test these household items with? And it's something that we can make ourselves that's actually in your own grocery store in the vegetable section. It's very natural. So let's go ahead and let's label our cups. 